gentlemen and anyone in between, I would like to welcome you all to the One Direction Eras Tour. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all things One Direction doing an Eras Tour. So I found a TikTok very recently where I did if One Direction did an Eras Tour and it's safe to say that that video is doing pretty well so I thought that I would do a YouTube video doing the same thing. I will link my TikTok below if you want to go and check that out. I have also done other videos similar to this if I could change the eras tour for Taylor Swift and if Ariana Grande did an eras tour so I will also link those below and on the subject of One Direction which I don't really know why I'm about to plug this video but I have also ranked every single One Direction song if you want to go and cancel me and hate me forever then you can go check that out but if you are going to check that video out please wait until the end of this video. So I have also created a Spotify playlist which is called If One Direction Did An Eras Tour. So I will also link that below. So we are going to go through this playlist, adapt it, change it, add songs, maybe remove songs. Before we start the video, please do give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And lastly, if you have any other artist suggestions which I could do Eras Tours videos for, then please do let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. Okay, so as of tour openers, the song which I have on this playlist is Drag Me Down. I know that is not the best song to open a tour, so I think we are going to make the first change there. What I'm thinking is we start this tour with how we left it, so maybe before the actual show starts, we see a video, maybe the last video they ever had together or like them saying goodbye to each other, a video maybe of their last performance. And to continue that, we're going to start in the Made in the AM era because like I say, we're starting from where we left off. That means that we're starting this tour with just the four members. This tour is not supposed to be realistic in the slightest. If realistically One Direction were going to come back together to do a, some kind of reunion show or tour, realistically there would probably just be four members. But we're gonna forget I said that. Starting the tour with four members, considering we're starting in the Made in the AM era, the song that starts this album is Hey Angel. I mean, we have a lot of time to fill at the start of this song, so maybe something could be happening while the first sort of 30 seconds are being played. I don't really know what. If One Direction were going to do an Eras tour, I am not even bothered about what songs they choose. They could sing anything. I would just be fine with the fact that by getting a One Direction reunion. Let's say we're starting with Hey Angel. Maybe we don't hear the full song. Maybe we only hear first minute, maybe like after the first chorus. And then after that, we go into Temporary Fix. I don't know. I just feel like Temporary Fix would be kind of a cute way to start this era's tour, considering we're starting this tour with how we left off. I feel like the response that I got from my One Direction Eras Tour TikTok kind of got mixed responses and a lot of people had different ideas of what song they would choose to start this tour. So I have kind of taken into consideration with what other people have said. Another song which I have as 
an opener suggestion is walking in the wind. Again, that follows the idea that we're starting this tour, considering what it's about. I'm thinking we start with a little bit of Hey Angel, but maybe also when the start of Hey Angel is being played, we don't see the boys yet. Maybe we can hear them or again, like I say, maybe there's a video playing. We start with a little bit of temporary fix and go into a full version of Walking in the Wind. Would we go to Drag Me Down? Or maybe Perfect? After Walking in the Wind, we go to Perfect and then Drag Me Down. After that, I have Infinity. I really can't decide on the order of these songs. Let's just say we go Hey Angel, Temporary Fix, Walking in the Wind, Perfect, Drag Me Down, Infinity, and then we have a mashup of If I Could Fly and Home. And then after that, we hear a little bit of Night Changes Now. After this, it gets interesting. Maybe this little part of Night Changes is kind of an interlude. So considering the lyric, does it ever drive you crazy just how fast the night changes? This would resemble the transition back to the start. And I mean it when I say the start. We are going back to the start of One Direction's career. And I'm thinking we get a little X Factor section. My idea is, and just just hear me out, hear me out for a second. I know this is probably the idea of each member of One Direction's nightmare. So my idea is that each member comes on stage and sings a little bit of their audition song. The last audition that we hear is Zayn and it's his big grand reveal. Each of these audition sections they're probably not going to be a full version of these songs and they come on stage together and sing a group performance of Torn. I feel like Torn is probably one of their most known songs that they sang. It's one of the ones that I remember more vividly of them singing. I'm also thinking that throughout the show, we could go back to X Factor live performances and maybe they sing other songs which they sang on X Factor. But then after Torn, I've got What Makes You Beautiful because that was their first big song. That was their first single together as a band. I feel like it would make more sense if What Makes You Beautiful was sung last. So after the X Factor section, we would hear maybe a little bit of What Makes You Beautiful. That would kind of symbolize the transition into the Up All Night era. For the Up All Night era, the songs which I have are up all night, more than this, moments, got to be you, another world and one thing. Now I'm not going to do any changing of the set for that era. I feel like at the end of the show we would come back to all the bigger songs. So then after the Up All Night era, we would get a cover of Teenage Dirtbag. Obviously, we can't leave that out. And then after that, we would go into the Take Me Home era. Now, Take Me Home is one of my favourite albums ever. So I could genuinely put every single song from this album into this. So we're starting the Take Me Home set with Come On, Come On. I don't think any other song from this era works better than Come On, Come On as a set opener. And then we've got Little Things. Now, I feel like after Come On, Come On, we could have like a slow down section where they sing their slower songs. 
So we're starting with little things and then going to over again. And then they don't know about us and irresistible. So then after that, we have Nobody Compares. I absolutely love that song and I don't know how loved it is in the fandom. After Nobody Compares, we have Last First Kiss. And then we're finishing the Take Me Home set with Kiss You. I feel like that follows nicely after Last First Kiss. Following the Take Me Home era, we have an interlude of One Way or Another. Maybe there could be some kind of cool video or maybe it's just a video of the boys being silly. And then after that, we go into the Midnight Memories era. Or maybe we don't go into the Midnight Memories era. I don't know. There's so many different ways we could do this because I feel like there's a few songs from the Midnight Memories era, which work as being like one of the last songs for example don't forget where you belong that would be such a wholesome way to end a set okay so there are so many different ways that i could do this and it's kind of hurting my head maybe what we should try and do is think about how we want to finish the show I had some ideas in my TikTok comments. So a lot of people were saying to include a solo part where each member comes on stage and sings some of their solo songs, which is really cool. They would come on stage and sing like a mashup of their most known songs. Let's just say we start with Liam and then we go to Niall and then we go to Harry. And then, okay, we go to Louis. Someone mentioned this in my comments, so I'm not taking the credit for coming up with this idea. We have Louis sing a mashup of his songs, and then he finishes with Miss You. And straight after that, Zayn comes on stage and sings a mashup of his songs. And then after that, we go into history. Between Zayn's mashup and the history performance. I feel like it would be so wholesome to get Don't Forget Where You Belong as like an interlude. That's how I'm envisioning the end of the show. But between that, I feel like spaces should also be in there somehow. Before they do the solo section, they all sing spaces. And then maybe there's some kind of interlude between that and the first solo. Towards the beginning of this tour, we would have the solo performances of their X Factor auditions. So that would mean that towards the end of the show, or literally at the end of the show, we would have the solo performances of them doing their solo stuff. We would hear a little bit of night changes before the solo performances of their auditions. And then we would hear a little bit more of night changes after their solo performances at the end. Okay, so let's say that after the Take Me Home era, we get a one way or another interlude. And then we go into the Midnight Memories era. We're starting this era with Diana. I just feel like this would open the set so well. Although I say that, but Midnight Memories would also open the set. So I don't know. Let's just say that Diana opens the Midnight Memories set. And then after that, I've got Right Now. And then after Right Now, we have Strong, You and I, Story of My Life, Don't Forget Where You Belong. And then Midnight Memories and Best Song Ever. Now, this is the part where it kind of stumps me. I feel like it would be really nice to kind of split this set because I feel like the songs like You and I story of my life, don't forget where you belong, midnight memories and best song ever. They would work very well as being performed towards the end of the show. So 
maybe halfway through the Midnight Memories set, we go back to the four set. We're starting that set with Where Do Broken Hearts Go? That song would be such a good tour opener, but if I was going to choose to open this tour with Where Do Broken Hearts Go? Then the whole set, I feel like, would have to change since I'm starting this tour in the AM set. Next on the four set, I have Stockholm Syndrome. I couldn't leave that song out, obviously. It is probably one of their best songs. And then after that, I have No Control, Fireproof, 18 and steal my girl. I feel like somewhere between that we would have to have night changed. Maybe it's straight after that and then we go back to the Midnight Memories set. So before each member comes on stage to sing a mashup of their own solo song, we would get a performance of the remaining big One Direction songs that haven't yet been performed. That being Live While We're Young, What Makes You Beautiful, possibly Midnight Memories and Best Song Ever. Maybe we would start those songs with Midnight Memories. And then we would finish those big songs with Best Song Ever and then we would go into the solo performances and then we would finish the whole show with History. Maybe before History though we have an interlude between Zane's performance and history and that interlude would be Don't Forget Where You Belong or maybe it would just be nice to have Don't Forget Where You Belong being played when people are leaving the show. I guess that brings me to the end of this video and that is if One Direction did an era's tour. This took so much time to film and Honestly, my brain hurts a little bit after filming this. I'm still not even sure if this makes sense as an era's tour and as a set list. Do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.